Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim my dear students ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum i think all of you are well and safe from covid 19 virus i am also well and fine and free from covid 19 virus <coughs> my dear students for some pandemic situation, our Honorable Education Minister take decision. Our class will be held on online basis for the Honorable Minister's decision. Such decision has to implement according her order and for this reason I have to take my class online basis and today is our first online basis class. I have already been discussed our session in our classroom and the partial chapter will be discussed in our online basis. <clears throat> Today I will discuss on communication barriers, types of communication barriers and guidelines to overcome communication barriers. First of all, I will discuss on what does it mean communication barriers. We know that communication is the exchange of opinion, views, ideas, thoughts, opinion, facts between two or more parties or between two or more persons. But this communication maybe creates some obstacle, some barriers, which creates some barriers. Our communication may not be transferred <clears throat> in proper channel or may not be transferred to the right person or received to the right person. This types of obstacle is called communication barriers. So at a glance, we can say communication barriers is such barriers or obstacles or burden. Our communication, our message may not be reached to the right person at the right time. Such obstacle or, or such bar, burden, such um, hindrance is called communication barriers. Dr. Shoroj Kumar Devna said, barriers to communication means obstacles to the process of communication. Yes, communication barriers is obstacles to the process of communication which may not be reach the message to the right person is called communication barriers. According to businessdictionary.com, barriers are aspects or, or conditions that interfere with effective exchange of ideas or thoughts. <clears throat> that means barriers are one kind of problem or one kind of conditions which destroyed or interfered the effective exchange of ideas or thoughts. So communication barriers are the problems or factors that inhibit the effective flow of information in the process of communication. That means communication barriers is one kind of problem, one kind of obstacle, one kind of hindrance, one kind of facts which creates some 
um, some problem to process to pro proper process the information to the right person or to the receiver so amra bolte pari communication barriers holo oi dhoroner ek dhoroner badha je badha ta amader je message ta amra amader receiver er kache dite chai ba pouchate chai seta proper bhabe receiver er kache pouchate pare na ei je pouchate pare na ei badha tai holo communication barrier now i will discuss types of communication barriers now i will discuss types of communication barriers first of all there are many communication barriers are available in present situation first of all organizational barriers organizational barriers includes the following <coughs> barriers number 1 negative organizational climate lack of rules and policies excessive authority layers complexity of organizational structure and second on communication barrier is personal or individual barriers number 1 differences in personality difference in differences in perceptions fear and threat in attention misunderstanding emotion so organizational barriers first includes negative organizational climates we should know that negative environment arthat netibachok sangothonik poribesh arthat negative environment will leads to creates organizational communication barriers which <clears throat> creates obstacle to reach the message to the receiver or to the right persons it's important um, barriers of communication in our organization so negative organizational climates is important hindrance is important barriers in case of organizational communication in case of uh, business communication then lack of rules and policies sometimes some rules and policy lack of uh, sometimes lack of some rules and or, or policies will lead to creates obstacle or creates barriers to reach the message to the right person to the right uh, place it's another kind of uh, organizational barriers suppose if top level executive executives do not set or amend the ex existing rules and policies there will be no proper direction at all so there may, may not be proper guidelines or directions and who is will misleading the um, communication barriers or who is will creates obstacles to reach the message to the right persons next excessive authority layers sometimes too much authority um, authority bindings too much authority uh, power will helps to lead the misle which um, misleading the communication to reach the proper person to reach the proper receiver so excessive authority layers uh, the another communication barriers um, uh, which uh, uh, creates the gap or overlapping of information in our communication so excessive authority layers another barriers of organ um, communication system next complexity of organizational structure sometimes complex nature organizational structure will creates um, communication barriers in our society so simple and natural organizational structure will leads to reach the communication to the right channel to the right person to the right receiver but uh, complex nature of organizational structure clears the communication barriers in our business field next up personal or individual barriers sometimes 
personal and individual thoughts, ideologies can create um, communication barriers in our society. We know, we know that the peoples are many mind and many views and many thoughts uh, are available in our society. So different peoples have, uh, has different views, different ideology, different thoughts in our society. So for the personal uh, people's different views will lead the um, communication barriers in our society. Suppose the conservative person always uh, search the society in a conservative loop. Look, at the same way, the liberal person will always think the society in liberal in nature, but liberal look. So liberal person's personality or look, uh, the always differ from conservative persons and personality. So first of all, differences in personality. So differences in personality may create a communication problem in, a, in the organization. The most common problem faced those days in that of the differences in the opinion between two peoples. At the same way, different views people uh, creates uh, personal uh, careers, uh, personal barriers. Uh, suppose uh, conservative persons always uh, see the world, see the society in conservative look at the same way. Liberal person always see the um, society in a liberal look. So two persons views are always different. So different mentality, different personality persons creates a, a personal barriers and differences in perceptions. Another personal barriers is differences in perceptions. Suppose many persons, many perceptions in our society. So different persons always has different perception. So your perception may not be matched with your friend's perception. So when the perception will be different from one person to another person, then the creates a communication barriers, fear and threat. Fear Another individual barrier is fear and threat. Sometimes the subordinates surprise when the subordinates um, feel fear and threats from the um, upper level boss, they will never um, transparent, uh, transfer the um, accurate message or true message to the um, subordinates, to the other parties, because they always feel fear and threat from the uh, high level officer or from the third party. So it's another individual barriers in, in case of communication. So in attention, sometimes attention is very important in case of receiving messages. So when the sender send the message to the receiver, sender need to give close attention when uh, what he wants to say or want to send to the receiver. At the same way, receiver also uh, should um, have should have um, close attention to the uh, sender. So attention, um, inattention is another barriers of communication. Miss uh, next misunderstanding. Misunderstanding is another. Um, communication barriers uh, in case of um, individual communication, in case of um, official communication, because uh, subordinates and official or high officials should have close understanding and close uh, parallel mentality, because if they haven't any close understanding, parallel mentality, ultimate result is a misunderstanding between the subordinates uh, and high officials. So subordinates and high officials also um, need the parallel mentality and parallel um, perception. Otherwise, there is a communication arises a communication gap and the communication leads a misunderstanding between the um, uh, employees uh, and or subordinates to with the high official emotion another individual barriers is emotion um, there is no uh, field 
of emotion in case of communication. Communication must be clear cut, specific, and to the point from the sender to the receiver. So if there arises any emotion between the um, between the um, uh, individuals, um, between the senders, between the <laughs> with the receivers, so they create say, um, uh, creates a uh, barriers to send the message from the sender to the receiver. Suppose it is a comprised of fear, mistrust, and suspicious, um, suspicious thoughts between the sender and receiver. If arise any fear or mistrust or that obvious suspicion or that purbo dharana ba fear or that bhoy biti thake, so a emotional um, message cannot create say, a good communication system or good um, proper communication system. So emotion is another barriers of communication. Number third, semantic or language barriers. Sometimes we face some language barriers in case of communication because uh, different countries or different region has different language system. So if we cannot uh, use a proper or a standard language in case of uh, formal communication, such type of communication creates a language barriers between the sender and receiver. So sender and receiver should have parallel knowledge or standard communication um, language um, uh, because both the sender and receiver can understand uh, each other. So language barriers is another barriers in case of communication. First of all, uh, linguistic differences. I mean, the Bhashagoto Pathoko or that different reason has different language. So um, dif suppose different district has different language. Suppose the uh, Borishal districts people cannot understand or may not understand the Rashai districts uh, regional language for this region. Clear say language barriers between the people of Borishal districts at the same way uh, the people of Rashai districts. So um, regional culture, regional language difference creates say language barriers in case of communication. Use of technical language. Mm. Pori Bhashagato Bhashar Bebohar or that when you use in case of communication um, uh, technical language, technical language may create a communication barriers um, between the receiver to the uh, with the sender or the sender to the receiver. So um, when you use uh, when you communicate with each other, must avoid technical language, use a official language, use a standard language, use a formal language, which will help to understand the communication message between the sender and between the receiver. So uh, it's another kind of uh, using technical language uh, is a um, uh, language barriers or communication barriers. Sub number three, Local language. Local language is Estanio Bhasha. Uh, local language may not be understood by another local uh, people. So one local people language may not be uh, clearly understood by another local people. So when you communicate with each other in formal sense, in official sense, must follow the formal language um, and official language and standard language, never use a local language and colloquial language because local language and colloquial language may not be understood by another person or your receiver. So sender and receiver must follow the um, uh, official language and standard language never use local language. Finally, uncommon words. 
another communication barriers is use uncommon words when you use um, uh, when you communicate with each other must follow the common words uncommon or exceptional word never use in case of communication because it helps to create say communication barriers because when you communicate with each other your communication message must be understandable between receiver between between receiver and sender so sender and receivers when you communicate they must keep in mind to use common language common words but never avoid and avoid uncommon words and uncommon language so uncommon words and uncommon <coughs> language is another kind of communication barriers and others barriers number four there are some others barriers in our communications uh, suppose information overload partial communication negative attitude to change physical barrier cultural barrier gender barriers sometimes information overloads first of all information overloads may create say um, uh, barriers in um, barriers to transfer the message from <coughs> send that to the receiver so um, excessive information may mislead uh, misleading the um, communication may misleading the message to um, uh, to this the receiver or to um, uh, get the proper information from the sender so excessive information is another um, barriers of communication partial communication Keep, you should keep your mind when you communicate with other persons, always try to send the complete message and complete information. Never give the partial information because partial communication will create say, barriers um, in communication. So partial communication is another um, communication barriers uh, in our um, organization so never provide partial communication negative attitude to change in our um, present world always changeable world so you should such mentality um, to uh, match the changing situation suppose now we are going through a pandemic situation so we need to change our ma mentality to um, adjust such pandemic situation if we cannot uh, adjust such pandemic situation we cannot um, survive in our present world so um, we should follow always positive attitude um, to any change changing situation so negative attitude uh, is another the um, communication barriers uh, in our present situation so um, always follow a positive attitude to changing any uh, to match any changing situation physical barrier Physical barriers is may create a communication um, uh, barriers uh, in a present situation. Suppose you you stay in uh, Borishal district or Rashai district or Kumila district, but your receiver may uh, stay in Chittagong district. So um, social but physical distance from sender to receiver is another communication barriers number six cultural barriers uh, we know that different uh, districts people bear uh, different culture different attitude different um, uh, lifestyle um, uh, support or in present business world is a global world but um, uh, one country uh, culture is different from another country culture suppose uh, a Muslim country culture is always different from Hindu country culture or um, Yehudi country culture. 
or um, first world culture. So culture also creates some barriers in case of communication. So we should um, uh, follow uh, and uh, overcome uh, cultural barriers in case of communication. Um, uh, gender barriers, finally gender barriers. There are some distinct differences between the, um, the men and women. Women speaks um, between, um, speaks uh, for personality, women's uh, thoughts and ideology may always differ from men thoughts and ideologies. So sometimes genders, uh, um, genders, problem creates some uh, communication problem, creates some general communication barriers. The another important uh, um, barriers in uh, communication is gender barrier. Now I will discuss guidelines to overcome communication barriers. Already we have, uh, I have discussed the communication barriers uh, or communication, um, meaning of communication barriers and uh, types of communication barriers. Now I um, discussed on <coughs> um, how to overcome communication barriers. We know that uh, we have some communication barriers in um, in present situation uh, when you communicate with each other uh, within the organization, outside the organization or with our society. So how we overcome the um, communication barriers? Number one, overcoming uh, organizational barriers. How we can overcome our organizational barriers has already been discussed in our uh, communication uh, barriers. So first of all, restructuring. What does it mean restructuring? It means the organizational structure may be redesigned. If the structure become simple, communicational barriers will remove. So simple organizational barriers will help to communication in proper way, in right way or successful way from the receiver to the sender. <clears throat> Number two, uh, shortening layers uh, of uh, high level office layers will clear some um, communication barriers which already been discussed in our uh, organizational barriers. So um, if we overcome the communication barriers, we need to shortening the office, uh, high official layers. Um, more official layers um, means more complexity in communication. Or that, I am going to say that our other one of the Oposto, Visa, Porimanta, to the Beshitake, Tale by management is total to the Beshitake, the Hale Ottadic Bossing to the Beshitake, the Hale Amade communication barriers to Beshitake. So Amra Jotota Bossing, Kumireke, Manipurpa Channel, Purpa Media, Babor Purbu, Tokonamade, a communication barriers to ultimately Kumashbe. Uh, number three, simple organizational structure. Abaro bolchi, the organization structure ta jokhon beshi hobe, or that when more complex organizational structure arises in your organization, then creates more communication barriers. But when you use the simple organizational structure, then uh, you create uh, communication uh, in simple, easy, and successful uh, successful ways. So uh, simple organizational structure structure is uh, important in case of successful communication. Employees perception and uh, participation in decision making. Um, su successful communication um, uh, majority depends on the employees participation in decision making. More employees participation in decision making leads to successful communication in case of organization. So employees participation is another uh, guidelines, another um, uh, thoughts to overcome or communication barriers. Number B, removing individual barriers. Individual barriers is another barriers in case of communication. So how to overcome uh, 
individual barriers already been discussed below. Number one, development of understanding. Uh, persons to person uh, ideology thoughts may be uh, different, in, but in case of organizational interest, um, in case of organizational mutual interest, personal, personal um, attitude, behavior, ideology, thought will, um, will be minimal, should be minimized. Um, and common ideology, common thought, common interest should be developed uh, and common understanding should be developed, which helps to minimize the individual barriers, removing fear and threat. So um, when your individual barriers to overcome, um, you need to remove fear and threat because organizational officers and employees um, should be free from and friendly uh, environment uh, um, which will lead to successful communication uh, already been discussed in <coughs> individual barriers fear and threats uh, always uh, if the uh, if the uh, of uh, employees feel fear and threat and they never um, sent the true message to the high officials so uh, free frank and friendly and amicable environment uh, should ensure in case of uh, successful communication otherwise it creates a um, communication barriers never creates a good uh, communication environment Another um, guidelines uh, of individual barriers is attentiveness. When you when sender send messages to the receiver, sender should give a close attention what you want to say, what you want, uh, what is uh, what is going to send to the receiver. Uh, at the same way, receiver should have uh, close attention and close. <clears throat> Um, uh, um, uh, close uh, um, perception from the um, receiver. Otherwise, uh, your communication may be misleading and it creates uh, another uh, communication barriers and the uh, communication will not be successful. So attentive, um, close attention is another uh, guidelines to overcome communication barriers. Number four, avoiding assumption. Sometimes receivers should try to understand what the sender says. It will help the exchanging of information. Uh, without uh, clear cut information, the receiver should not give opinion. So assumption never uh, helps to create a um, successful uh, communication. So avoid assumption, any perception, but depend on clear message what the sender um, uh, sent uh, to the receiver. Without uh, clear message, uh, he or she should not give any uh, uh, fruitful or important decision. So as a, always avoid assumption. Or the dharunar ba onuman take avoid kore chol dhabe je kono successful communication khetre. Remove emotions. Um, to become a successful communication, we should remove the emotion. Emotion never creates a successful communication in case of uh, uh, organization so uh, any kind of misunderstanding any kind of um, uh, religious or conservative look any kind of mistrust or thought of shash, any kind of uh, fear and threat should be avoided in case of um, communication otherwise your communication creates a barriers and the sender um, and receiver will need never get a, uh, a proper information. So um, any kind of emotion should be minimized in case of official communication. Eliminating difference in perception. Again, I want to say that uh, any kind of um, many people, many mind, we know that, but uh, in case of official purpose, we should um, follow the proper information, proper channel, never uh, 
you uh, use different perception because common interest should be considered in case of business purpose and when the receiver and sender um, exchange their information exchange their views opinion thoughts their perception should be um, same um, different perception may not be uh, lead may not may not be success are uh, the communication. So um, minimize or eliminate the different perception. Active listening. Listening is very uh, important in case of communication. Suppose when you use the uh, mobile um, uh, information or telephone information from the um, uh, receiver or the sender to the receiver. So sender should give close attention in case of sending messages at the same way, receiver should close attention the <coughs> Uh, close attention to receive the message. If the receiver, receiver cannot understand or listen the um, clear um, message from the sender, he will misleading and the communication will create the barriers and they cannot um, take a fruitful decision. And finally, observing receiver. Receivers observation is very important what the information are sent from the um, from the sender so sender and receiver uh, always um, observe uh, uh, what the receiver and sender uh, will actually will exchange the message what is their information so close observation is important in case of um, overcome the communication barriers and number c removing language barriers when we discussed the um, communication barriers um, our important communication barriers was language barriers. And uh, in case of communication, uh, successful communication, we should remove language barriers. Otherwise, we uh, cannot uh, understand the sender and receiver. If we don't understand the sender and receiver, we cannot uh, take uh, the proper uh, decision and action and uh, for this reason, our communication will be misleading and organization will suffer some communication problem. So <coughs> removing, uh, we should remove language barriers. How we can remove language barriers? Number one, avoiding local language, uh, use of common words, use of simple language and explanation, uh, explanation of jargon. Or that pori bhashar bekhapodan. Amra bolchi puthumi uh, avoiding local language. We already been said that local language creates the official communication barriers because different region people has different local language. Uh, when we communicate in a official purpose, in a formal, formal purpose, in a standard purpose, we should avoid uh, local language and use the standard language, use the official language, which will help to um, successful communication communication and if we use the local language unofficial language if we will misleading the communication barriers and clears the obstacles uh, obstacle in case of communication number two use of common words when we you um, uh, we send communication um, sent message from sender to the receiver or communicates from one person to another person in an official purpose we must follow common language which is understandable between the two persons or between the um, communicated person. Otherwise, our communication will be misleading, will be creates communication barriers and on each, uh, each other cannot understand what he or she wants to say. So use of common language is important in case of minimize the language barriers. <laughs> Number three, use of simple language. When you communicate in a formal session, when you communicate in formal uh, or official purpose, you must follow simple and easy word, never go through complex and um, 
unused word or um, or traditional traditional word must follow the um, simple and easy word and simple and easy language which can be helps to understand you receive what you want to say so it is important in case of overcoming language barriers use of simple language number 4 explanation of jargon or that pori bhasha byakha podan or that if you want you if you use a technical words or jargons you must explain the technical words what you wants to say wants to explain wants to provide so otherwise you receiver can will misunderstand you what you want to say so explanation of jargon explanation of technical word is important in case of uh, overcome communication barriers number uh, d removing physical and others barriers when we communicates we we must follow some techniques to successful our communication um, already been uh, we said um, organizational remove organizational uh, barriers remove language barriers remove uh, individual barriers um, finally we need to remove some physical and other barriers who is already been if such barriers is exist in case of um, communication uh, first of all noise control noise in case of uh, important fact um, in a, in case of communication if arise any noise we, uh, the sender and receiver cannot understand <clears throat> what you want to say so noise minimization uh, is important uh, in case of um, successful um, communication so uh, when arise any noise when you send a message over mobile over telephone or um, or if you arrange any seminar uh, open discussion session you must follow here um, have here have any uh, noise you should control the noise uh, if you cannot control the noise in proper way you cannot send your message um, in proper way because uh, if the receiver cannot understand what you want to say uh, your um, message will misleading uh, in case of successful communication mm -hmm. so noise minimization is another uh, guidelines to overcome the communication barriers number two decreasing information overload so information overload is another important case fact in case of communication barrier so always minimize information overload just send the specific message send the specific um, uh, information not uh, provide verbose information or that one gada 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 information with the jabina but gada gada message through corbina just what you want to say uh, just provide the specific message or a specific information or to me jeta bold the chat show message did the chat show she message to me should do the way jano Oti matra information na tha ki just tumi jeta bolte chacho tumi jeta je udeshya me communication kochhu shei udeshya ta jeno shorti kevom shankip to hoy shei information ta shudhu provide korbe mani bhar bojma gada gada information ba message thoro korbe na jeta ekta communication barriers toiri kore kintu tomar kaj hobe communication barriers toiri kora na goron successful communication kora shei successful communication er jono you should follow the and minimizing information or a specific information and uh, or a specific message um, through to the audience to your um, receiver to your um, <coughs> uh, high official etc etc so decreasing information overload is another guidelines to work on communication barriers number three give constructive feedback Suppose when you send that send a message to to you, you must give 
feedback in constructive way, not use a verbose message or half hazard message or that hello, hello, on a basic information to you to me receiver you catch in the center of the feedback the winner to me just feedback to the but to the point a jeta to my receiver to mark us take a jump to change it but to my high official to mark us take a jay to to the jump to chase it take shot it to the to to the point is from keep to the way to me hello hello which hello information the winner so give a constructive feedback is another guidelines to overcome communication barriers number four proper media selection another important factor in is to minimize communication barriers is to proper media selection uh, when you uh, send your message to the uh, receiver or to the audience you must follow the proper channel um, unproper channel or uh, um, <coughs> uh, মানে প্রপার চ্যানেল ছাড়া তুমি ভিন্ন চ্যানেলে তুমি যদি মেসেজটা দিয়ে থাকো তাহলে তোমার মেসেজটা তোমার রিসিভার প্রপারলি পাবে না যখন তোমার রিসিভার প্রপারলি পাবে না তখন সে তোমাকে প্রপার ফিডব্যাকও দিতে পারবে না তাহলে তোমার এটা এখানে একটা কমিউনিকেশন বেরিয়ার্স তৈরি হবে সো তোমাকে সবসময় মাথায় রাখতে হবে যে আমি যখন মিডিয়াটা ব্যবহার করব কোন মিডিয়াটা আমার কখন প্রয়োজন হবে সাপোজ ইন অফিসিয়াল পারপাস ইউ নিড সেন্ড এ মেসেজ ইউ ক্যান ইউজ এ অফিসিয়াল নোটিস অফিসিয়াল মেমোরেন্ডাম অফিসিয়াল লেটার অর অথবা ইউজ এ হোয়েন ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু গিভ শর্ট মেসেজ টু ইউ হাই অফিসিয়াল ইউ শুড ফলো দ্য ওভার টেলিফোন মেসেজ ওভার মোবাইল মেসেজ অর মোবাইল ফোন ইউ ক্যান কল ইউ মে কল ইউর বস ওভার টেলিফোন ওভার মোবাইল বাট ইফ ইউ নিড এ পাবলিক মেসেজ ইউ না মে নট ইউজ টেলিফোন মে নট ইউজ মোবাইল ফর দিস পারপাস ইউ মে ইউজ ইউ হ্যাভ টু ইউজ পাবলিক ভয়েস অর ফেস টু ফেস ভয়েস সো হোয়েন ইউ কমিউনিকেট ইউ শুড ফলো দ্য প্রপার চ্যানেল আদারওয়াইজ ইউর কমিউনিকেশন উইল মিসলিডিং অ্যান্ড হুইস উইল ক্রিয়েটস এ কমিউনিকেশন ব্যারিয়ার্স ফাইনালি দ্য ফ্লেক্সিবিলিটি ইন মিটিংস দ্য টার্গেটস অর্থাৎ লক্ষ্যে লক্ষ্যে পৌঁছানোর ক্ষেত্রে নমনীয় হুইন ইউ ইউজ দ্য ইনফরমেশন টু সেন্ড ইনফরমেশন টু দ্য রিসিভার ইউ মাস্ট বি ফ্লেক্সিবল শুড বি ইজি অ্যান্ড সিম্পল উইচ উইল হেল্প দ্য ইউর টার্গেটস ইফ ইউ ডোন্ট ইউজ দ্য ইজি অ্যান্ড সিম্পল ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইম ইউ মে নট বি রিচ দ্য ইউর target so target fulfill is important in your you uh, in your communication so if you follow the communication if you send information but you cannot uh, achieve your target so target will misleading yeah will be misleading so when you communicates must be flexible must be easy must be simple uh, in your communication my dear students thank you very much up to this i will uh, cordially discuss um, my session and try to uh, understand uh, what is communication barriers uh, types of communication barriers and uh, guidelines uh, which helps to overcome the communication barriers and i think yeah, it will help to understand what i want to say in my uh, online session and uh, it will help to understand um, the um, discussed topic if you feel any uh, problem or any <laughs> disturb you may um, contact with me i will help my best uh, way to um, i will suggest you be in best way to understand your topic and uh, i think if you all of you are keep uh, safe and uh, wear mask and uh, hand sanitized and stay social maintain social distance and stay home and uh, 
I think all of you will, uh, with, within short time, we can uh, meet uh, our session in physical in our classroom. So I uh, stay well, stay safe, and uh, we pray to Allah. Allah will help us and will over, uh, help to overcome this situation. And thank you. Thank you very much to listen my session.